Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to make Joe's award-winning cheesecake. And we'll get to bacon right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So recently, Keto Chow had a recipe challenge and we entered in a couple of recipes. We entered in a chili and we entered in today's recipe, which is a chocolate toffee cheesecake. How cute is it that you're saying that we entered these recipes? Because yeah, we all know that they're Joe's recipes. Well, right? in the end, the chocolate toffee cheesecake won the Yay! sweet category. Hey, so I tasted it. <laughs> you did taste it. So that's what we're going to make today, and it is actually a very easy recipe to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Yay! But we're going to make this one together because cheesecake can be a little bit more difficult, and you've never made a cheesecake before. No, I have not. So now at the end of this video, we're also going to do a giveaway because if you remember, Keto Chow had given us some things to give away a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give away another one of the sample bundles Yay! at the end of this video. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end. That's my favorite. Okay, so let's go over what you're going to need for this cheesecake. So there's actually gonna be two different, actually three different parts to it. You're gonna make the base, you're gonna make the cheesecake and then we're gonna put the topping on it. Are you sure this is easy enough for me to make? It is, but again, I'm gonna help you with this one. Okay. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. We're gonna need some monk fruit or some erythritol. This is just what we like to use, a Lakanto monk fruit blend. Lakanto. We're going to need some almond flour. We're going to need some butter, which has been softened already, mm -hmm. and some pecans. Pecans. We're gonna need some vanilla. We're gonna need some, obviously, Cream cheese. Sorry, I'm smelling the vanilla. I see that. We're gonna need some sour cream. We're going to need a couple of eggs, which are in this bowl, but I'm not gonna slam that down, but two eggs. And the entire recipe for this is gonna be down in the description. We're gonna put a link to the recipe. Mm -hmm. Then we're also gonna need some kind of an almond milk or some kind of a nut milk. We're gonna use this Calfia Farms in the almond milk. And I'm then this. finally, we're going to need Keto chow. Some keto chow. We're going to use the chocolate toffee, but you can use some of the other flavors, the snickerdoodle and stuff like that. Obviously, it's going to affect the taste. You did a vanilla one. Yes, we did. And it tastes really good. Okay, so let's kind of put all of this stuff to the side, and we're going to start off with the base or the crust. Now, you can actually make this cheesecake crustless, but sometimes it's nice just to have that little bit of a crust. It's pretty to okay, take Okay, so we're going to take uh, these eggs off to the side. To a shindig. Yes. Okay, so what you're going to do, the crust for this is kind of loosely based off of our pecan shorties um, cookies, the, the, you know, the shortbread cookies. Yeah, you will not be disappointed using this as a crust. So what we're going to do, and I've already kind of to help, you know, speed the process up, I've ground some out. You're going to take about an ounce of pecans mm -hmm. and you're going to grind them up into like, not quite a flour, like a very coarse flour. But pretty, pretty fine. Okay, so we're going to put that into a bowl. Mighty fine. You're mighty fine. Well, thank you. Then you're going to get, I've got all your cup measures over here, three quarters of a cup of almond flour. Okay. And let me get you something to mix this up with. Like that? Yep. So three of those. Oh. You know I love using the ledge. You do. Okay. Then we're gonna use our monk fruit and we're just gonna put a tablespoon in there. Monk fruit. This stuff really is delicious. And then finally, two and a half tablespoons of butter. You can pre-melt it. We've just had it softening, Ooh. but you can use it either way. It's pretty wet. Boop. And all you're gonna do now is take your spatula and you're gonna mix it all around. You mix okay. it all about, that's what it's all about. 
I just realized we forgot vanilla. You need to add a half a teaspoon Ooh. of vanilla to that. All right. You like my sound effects? Okay, so once it's all mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and put it into our pan. We're gonna use an eight inch springform pan. You could make it a little bit bigger, or just obviously your cheesecake's gonna be small. You may have to make the crust a little bit thinner uh -huh. or make a bigger crust, or you can use a smaller one to have a thicker crust. This always makes such a pretty display. I like just taking the whole springform pan with us someplace. <laughs> Now, once you get it in there, all you're gonna do is press it out across the whole bottom. Okay, so that's good. So now that you have everything pressed out just like this, we're gonna go into the oven, 325 degrees for about 10 minutes until you start getting like a nice golden brown across the top. Ooh, it's gonna be toasty. Now, once that comes out, you're going to take it out of the oven and stick it into the freezer or the refrigerator for about 10 minutes to get it to cool down. But while that's baking, let's go ahead and make the filling. Yes. Okay, so I got a bowl over here and the most important thing to this is making sure your cream cheese is going to be at room temperature. It's going to allow you to like get it nice and smooth. So we're gonna start off with two packages of cream cheese. Let me grab you a knife. I'll open them for you. Oh, you want me to take them out of the package? Yeah. You do it so like cleanly. <laughs> Can't even get the package open. That's one package there. Don't you just love cream cheese? I love cream cheese. Doesn't cream cheese just make everything better? Okay, so to that, we're gonna add one cup of sour cream. All righty. Here's a cup measure over here. Ooh. Make sure you get a full cup. Mm. It's been sitting out a little bit, so it's a little watery, but that's fine. I don't know if you wanna scrape the inside of that. Okay, we'll put that in the sink. Now we're gonna add Two eggs. Oh, I'll wait for you. Sorry. Now we're going to add two eggs. Oof. This is the dangerous part for me. Stop cracking it on the edge of the bowl like this. Perfect. Two thirds of a cup of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, or you can use erythritol. Yep. Two of these puppies. It's gonna be nice and sweet. Now, if you want it even sweeter, you can also add some few drops of liquid monk fruit. Or if you wanna cut down on the carbs, you can cut this down to about a half a cup and add more stevia or something like that. I find it perfect like this, but you cannot completely cut out the granular, otherwise you won't get like the right consistency for the cheesecake. Yeah, because that is the key for this. Maybe. Yeah, it's perfect. Now finally, we're going to do a half a cup of almond milk. I think you have a quarter of a cup measure over there, so I you can just do two of those. Do. I shouldn't say finally, because we have to put the main ingredient in. The keto chow? The keto chow. Kind of important. Let me borrow your wash rag over there. Okay. And now you're gonna do one scoop of keto chow. Oop, that's not it. That's not keto chow. This is keto chow. And so now just go ahead and mix it up. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. <laughs> That's now, usually I would coffee. actually do this in steps and just kind of blend the cream cheese with the erythritol and uh, do it in steps, but to just try to speed up the recipe a little bit for the video's sake, we're doing it all at once. Okay, that's good. Okay, now one thing you do want to make sure is when you're trying to get it nice and creamy, don't 
overbeat it because then what you're gonna do is you're gonna be adding a bunch of air in there and that could cause cracking on the cheesecake. Oh, okay. okay. So now what we're gonna do is just wait for our crust to come out of the oven. And put this delicious stuff inside of it. Yep, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, so we have our cookie crust that came out of the oven, put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes so it's nice and cool now. Yeah. Now we're just going to add our cream cheese mixture to the pan. All right, here we go. It smells incredible. It's very like caramel smelling, isn't it? Yes. The keto chow is spot on on their flavors. Get all of this. I don't want to miss any of it. Got it? Mm hmm Okay, here, let's get that little bit left. I was saving that. <laughs> Okay, so now all you want to do is just kind of spread it around in here. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, now, now that you have everything in the pan, what you want to do is you just want to kind of tap your pan on here a couple of times. And what you're trying to do here is get all of the air bubbles out. Not so just that you don't crazy. get cracking. No, you're not trying to look crazy or crack your uh, countertop. This, Tap it lightly, try to get all the air bubbles out. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the oven, 325 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. And uh, you don't wanna cook it all the way through. You want the edges to be a little brown, uh -huh. but the center, about inch and a half or so, should be a little jiggly. Like my thighs. I did not say that. It's true though. Now, if you let it cook all the way through so none of it is jiggly, it'll taste good, but it will start cracking. So you wanna pull it out before it starts cracking. Jiggly is good. Now, once you get to that point where the center inch and a half, and we'll show it to you guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off the oven. <laughs> you're gonna open up the door, just crack open the oven door a little bit and let it cool down for about 10 minutes before we put the toppings on. But isn't the smell of that delicious cheesecake going to torture everybody? Yes, but it's gotta be done. All right, here we okay, go. Okay, into the oven we go. Okay, so it's been 50 minutes. Now we're just gonna check on it. And you can see as I move it out, the middle is just a little jiggly like that, starting to crack. So we're gonna leave it in here, crack the oven door like this, turn off the oven, and then in 10 minutes we'll come around and we'll run a knife around the edge. So it's been about an hour since we turned off the oven. The cheesecake is pretty cooled down and now. it's so pretty. Yeah, it came out perfect. Look, you can see a perfect color. It's like caramel. Now, one thing we didn't mention, like I said, once you're done baking it, you're gonna open up the oven, mm -hmm. let it sit for about 10 minutes with the oven off with that oven door crack. Then you're gonna go back, you're gonna take a knife and just kind of run it around the edge. Loosen it. Yeah, well, what you wanna do is when you're doing that, you wanna make sure that the cheesecake's not stuck to the sides of the pan. Otherwise, as it cools, it's gonna crack some more. Ooh. And we don't want that. No. What you'll do now is after you're done with that, close the oven door back up, mm -hmm. let it sit in there for another 30 to 45 minutes at least. Oh, with the oven off? With the oven off, it's gonna continue to use that oven temperature in there to kind of cook it a little bit more. But what you're really trying to do is get it to cool down at a slow pace. If you take that out and just put it on your counter or put it in your refrigerator, it's gonna cool too quickly and that's gonna cause cracking. Cheesecake is tricky. That's the hardest part about a cheesecake is getting it to cook to the perfect consistency and then getting it to cool to the perfect consistency without having all the cracking. Wow. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take our butter knife and run it around one more time to make sure that nothing is stuck to the edge. And we're just gonna pop open our spring form pan. And if we did this right. It should be loose. It, it's pretty loose. Nice. Okay. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the finishing touch. Okay. So we're gonna use some of the Lakanto Santella. Nice. But if you don't have this, you can use uh, any kind of nut butter. Mm -hmm. You can use, I like the peely nut butter, the cocoa peely nut butter. You can put it right out of the package. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tablespoon of this. Just drizzle it. And we're going to just drizzle a little bit in any kind of design across the top. Just wow. like this. Wow. That's cute. Oh, we're not done yet. It's going to get prettier. Nice. Unfortunately, the edge didn't come out perfect on this one, but that's okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another ounce to ounce and a half of the pecans. This time you're going to coarsely chop them up. You don't wanna turn Not it into a flower. Mm -hmm. So it kinda wants to look like this. See how they're like coarse pieces? Yeah. 
And what we're gonna do is just kind of sprinkle them all across the top. Wow. Wow, this really looks like a fancy cheesecake. Oh my goodness. This feels generous. Yeah, there's about an ounce and a half when I chopped it up, but that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna use them all. Don't wanna miss any. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another tablespoon of this Suntella and we're gonna kind of drizzle it across the top again. Wow, that is gorgeous. Now the reason that I put some on the bottom and some on the top is because it'll kind of like help these pecans to kind of stick to the top as it cools the rest of the way. I like losing, using more. Centella as glue. <laughs> and that's it. And again, you can use any kind of nut butter. You don't have to use the Centella. That but this stuff is, is amazing. Gorgeous. You see this little piece here? <gasps> now here's the worst part wow. about making a cheesecake though. We're not done yet. Unfortunately, cheesecake needs to chill for a while. So this now has to go into the refrigerator for another four hours to preferably overnight. So as you can <laughs> see, like it's been all day. We've been like doing some filming because it is Labor Day and we're kind of like under storm watches and stuff like that. So it's nighttime now that we're like putting this in the refrigerator. That's why the lighting is all kind of screwed up. I feel like I want to stay up late and wait for this cheesecake. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this into the refrigerator and then tomorrow we'll come back, we'll cut it up, we'll sample it and we'll go over the nutrition. Okay. Well, it's the next day and Rachel has been bugging me all day long to finish this video up. Well, I just want to get to the tasting part. Yeah, because today is actually Rachel's birthday. Yay! So this is her birthday cake. It's my birthday cake. So we put it in the refrigerator last night about nine o'clock. It's two o'clock now. So it's absolutely perfect. And this is what the end result is. Doesn't that look amazing? Yep. So you ready? We'll go ahead and slice this up. Am I ready? So now when we do slice this up, because it is very calorie dense, mm -hmm. We generally slice this up into 12 slices, but you can put it into whatever you want, okay? Okay, so we have it all cut up into 12 slices, and now we just have one more little finishing touch. Whipped cream! This is completely optional, but... It's not optional. It's mandatory, because it's amazing. Ooh, the rain is starting to come down. Okay, you ready? Yes. Am I ready? Okay, here's a plate. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a nice birthday piece. Thank you. I'm glad I get to share my birthday cake with everybody watching. <laughs> the first piece is always the hardest piece to get always. off, right? There we go. And it's sticking a little bit on the bottom, but that's okay. All right. There you go. Thank you. We put this over here. Awesome! And look how pretty. And I, I just love it. Okay, so let's go over the macros on this real quick. So one slice of this, if you cut it into 12 pieces, is going to be 279 calories. It's going to be 26 and a half grams of fat per slice. Wow. Okay, eight and a half grams of protein, 19 total carbohydrates per slice. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be two and a half grams of fiber, but then you also have 12.2 grams of sugar alcohol. So it comes out to be 4.3 net carbs per slice. Now you can cut those carbohydrates down a little bit, the total carbohydrates, if you, Drop your sugar alcohols, drop the erythritol down to about a half a cup and use about 20 drops of either a liquid monk fruit or of stevia. But I have to tell you, I have had this cheesecake before and it is worth every single one of the carbs. Yeah. These, none of these carbs are not doing their job. And it was funny because we had it sitting in the refrigerator last night and Caleb comes in, can I have a piece of cheesecake? I'm like, no, you can't have it. You can't have it. What do you mean I can't have it? I'm like, it's for a video. You can't have it. Because now I'm going to have to go take this and hide it because they will eat the entire thing in one day and they're limited to one slice per day. <laughs> you ready? Here we go. Absolutely. Look at that. Dink. 
Mm. Wow. Need that a, is so worth like a half a meal. I just need a moment of privacy. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, it really, the keto chow just gives a perfect denseness to it. And then you add in the fact that I use sour cream, so it gives it that little bit of tang. You noticed if you've ever made cheesecakes before, there's no lemon juice in it because the sour cream is helping with that. You could probably shave off some carbs if you don't have a crust. Yeah, you'll shave off a little bit of carbs with that as well. Sometimes we'll make this without a crust. Yeah, because so. that's another option. One more piece and then we'll wrap this up. Got to. Mm. Well Good done. Job. Okay, let's put that to the side because we're gonna do a giveaway. Right? I love that. So we have a bag of, I don't even know what flavors are in here. It's the classic. The classic flavor bundle of Keto Chow. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're gonna give this away. What you need to do is be subscribed to our channel, mm -hmm. hit the like button on this video, yes. and then leave a comment down below. Any kind of comment will enter you into the giveaway. You do need to live in the continental United States. Mm -hmm. We will run the giveaway for, what, one week? Yeah, oh yeah. Yep, so uh, I don't know what the next week's date is. So we will put the date across the bottom here of when the giveaway will expire, and then we'll do the drawing for the next morning. Yeah, okay. and I definitely think that all of this keto chow should be used to make cheesecake. <laughs> Again, I don't remember what flavors are in here, but I know they're all good flavors. It's so. like the classic ones, like it's the chocolate classic one. and vanilla and that sort of thing. Yeah. So uh, there is also a link down below in the description if you want to purchase Keto Chow. You can use the coupon code 2 crazy ketos uh, and that'll get you 10% off. I believe it's a one-time only coupon. Uh -huh. If you do use that link, that does give us a little bit of money to help support the channel. And we greatly appreciate you guys using our link to kind of help keep these videos going. Yeah, thank you. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.